If you have seen my latest videos, you know that lately I have been obsessing about presence detection. So today I'm going to show you how to integrate your Huawei Mesh Router into Home Assistant and how to use it for some sweet presence detection. And if you're ready, let's go! First, you need to check if your device is supported by the integration. You can check that on my website or you can visit the documentation here. And then just click on an Open Hacks repository, click on Open Link, click on Download and Download. After it's finished, you need to restart Home Assistant. For this, go to Developer Tools, click on Restart, Restart, and Restart. Now, go to Settings, Devices and Services. Here, click on Add Integration, and let's look for Huawei. Here, you just need to enter a name for your router, the IP address. The default username is admin, so if you haven't changed it, just leave it as it is. And enter your password and then just keep submit. And that's it. It already detected my two nodes. Then just click finish. And now click on Huawei Mesh Router. And now we are going to activate some advanced features. For this, just click on configure. First, you can set the update interval in seconds for the integration. This is the max time that will take the integration to update any device change in your network. With the default setting, the detection seems to be fast enough. But if you experience false negatives, you should increase this value. And then click submit. Here, we can activate some additional features. The first one allows us to have switches for every device in our network to activate and deactivate its internet access. The second one will let us know how many devices are connected to every node. The third one allows you to set tags to identify different devices. The next one will enable device tracking that we can use in Home Assistant for presence detection. The next one allows you to set a zone for each router. This is another presence detection feature. I will explain more later. The next one will allow you to activate and deactivate your web filters. And the last one will enable event entities that you can use in your automations. I'm going to select all of them and then just click Submit and then Finish. And now just click on Devices and here we can find our two routers. Here we can see the difference between our primary router and one of the nodes. Since this is a mesh network, our primary router is going to have more options that are going to sync automatically with all the nodes. But we still have some individual settings for each node and we can use any of them in our automations. And now I'm going to show you how the zone feature works. For this, just go to my website. And here we are going to create a new zone. For this, just click on Create Zones and click on Show Zones. Click on Open Link. Here we are going to create a new zone. For this, just click on Add Zone. We are going to give it a name. Leave the rest as it is. Scroll down and select Passive. And then just click on Add. We are not going to use the GPS value. We just need it for the name. And I'm going to create another one for my other node. And then go back to the Huawei integration. And here we just need to select the zone. I'm going to select living room for the primary router and a studio for the other node. With this, if the device is connected to the primary router, instead of saying home, it will say living room. And if it's connected to the node, it will say studio. Like this. And that's it. This will allow you to have room presence detection similar to ESP presence, but only using your router. We also have two more entities that we need to enable manually. This will allow you to activate the Wi-Fi access control. To activate them, just click on one of them, then click here, and we are going to select Enable. And then just click Update. You will have to wait at least 30 seconds for it to be available in Home Assistant. With them, you can activate and deactivate the access mode control, and you can change between Blacklist and Whitelist. If you use Blacklist, all the devices in the Blacklist will be blocked from our home network. And if you use Whitelist, only the devices in the Whitelist will be able to access. So be sure that you know what you're doing because you can end up blocking yourself out of your own network. And now I'm going to show you how to automate the parental control web filtering. For this, just click on visit, enter your password, go to more functions, click on security settings, and click on parental control. Scroll down and we're going to add some words to filter. For this, just click on the plus icon, enter the URL. You can enable this if you want the filter to only apply to a certain device. For this, just click on them and then click OK. Now, go back to Home Assistant. And here we're going to go to Settings, Automations, Create New Automation and Create New Empty Automation. And now, let's say that I want to deactivate Facebook access from 10 p.m. to 9 a.m. For this, just click on Add a Trigger, scroll down and select Time. Here, we're going to select 10 p.m. And then we're going to add another one 
but for the nine. And now for the action, click on add an action. We are going to select choose. And here we're going to add a condition. For this, just click on add condition. Select time. And here in after, we are going to put 9.59 p.m. So when the automation gets triggered at 10 p.m., the first option is going to be executed. And now for the action, just click on add an action. Click on call service. Here, look for switch turn on. Then click on choose entity. And here we are going to look for URL filter. Click on the one that you want. Now scroll down, click on add default actions and then click on add an action, click on call service, and here we're going to call switch turn off. And select the entity. This way, if the automation is triggered at 10 p.m., it's going to trigger the first option and it's going to turn on the URL filter. And when it's triggered at 9 a.m., it will trigger the default action and turn off the web filter. And that's it. Now just click on save, give it a name, and then just click on save. If you want a blueprint to use with your device trackers, check out my Level Up Your Presence Detection video. This integration was created by Vladimir Makiv, so kudos to him for this incredible job. I will leave the link in the description to his GitHub page. A couple of days ago, I reached out to him with an Spanish translation of integration, and he asked for any feedback you guys might have. So this is your opportunity. Leave any feedback in the comments, and I make sure to share it with him. And if you like my work, please consider supporting me on Coffee using the button on my website or the link in the description. Either way, I will be eternally thankful. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!